Okay, my name is Nicola Soper. I'm a mechanical engineer and I work at Astrium in Stevenage. Um, I'm part of a design team that uh, designs uh, satellites and spacecraft that will eventually get launched into space. When I was really small, I wanted to be an astronaut and it's that since um, before I can remember really, probably six or seven years old and I remember saying I really want to be an astronaut. Um, I always worked hard at sort of maths and sciences, I was active and sporty because I thought astronauts are healthy so I need to be like that. Um, and right through my GCSEs and A-levels I sort of made sure I worked hard at my maths and my physics and my other sciences mm -hmm. so that I could go to university and study and um, in my idea of what an astronaut's qualifications would be that I could then follow that path. Uh, both my parents are civil servants. Um, my dad works in IT. Um, neither of them have qualifications of university or A-levels, um, but they really wanted myself and my brother to, to get good qualifications, go to university, because they never had the chance to. So they've backed me 100%, but they're not engineers, so <laughs> I haven't followed their path. I went to the University of Bath and I studied mechanical engineering. Um, I started off studying mechanical engineering with French, because, again, to be an astronaut, languages are helpful, uh, always in the back of my mind. Um, but then, after two years, I decided to focus on the engineering, so I actually stopped the French. The first thing I did when I left Bath, um, Bath University, and I graduated, was I did a three-month course at the International Space University. That was when I found out officially that I could not be an astronaut. I um, spoke to a flight surgeon who was a medical specialist, and as were everyone who was there who wanted to know if their vision was good enough to be an astronaut, if, if um, their diabetes was okay to be an astronaut. I mean, and I spoke to a flight surgeon and he explained to me that um, I couldn't be an astronaut. And that was a massive moment for me. And it was a bit of a shock, you know, for 20 years I've been thinking about becoming an astronaut and now NASA flight surgeon was telling me I couldn't. It was a massive disappointment. In fact, I found out one week before my birthday, and um, I remember for my whole life, when I blew out candles on my birthday, I used to go, I wish I want to be an astronaut every single birthday. And I remember being quite upset <laughs> because it was a week before I'd been told I couldn't. So I had to make a decision. Do I stay wanting to, you know, focusing on the space industry, or do I completely change? You know, I can do, I've got a degree, I can change careers. But I decided then to stay in the space industry, and if I couldn't go up, then I wanted to design something that would go up instead of me. When I finish the graduate programme, I'd like to get onto a project as a mechanical engineer and really see that project from the design right through to the build and then see it launch. When there's a launch event at Astrium, um, they have a big screen and they invite people who have worked on it and they have champagne and you watch the launch live. And to be at one of those events and to see a successful launch and to hear from the radio um, the frequencies that everything's okay, and everything's working and, and that I designed that, that would be a massive ambition for me. Those projects take 15, 20 years so it would take a long time for that final, for that final achievement but, but that's I think the aim.